Yo, what's going on you guys? So, got a new uh, package that my mailman dropped off me. Had it waiting when I got home. Um, this sticker is a little indication of what it is to come. But, uh, before I get to that real quick, just wanted to share a little uh, treat. My lady picked up some of this uh, old smoky moonshine from, uh, I, think, I don't know, she got it from Sam's Club or something. And it is pretty tasty. It is this uh, apple pie flavored moonshine. Not bad. Good stuff. But, anyway, getting back to the package. Uh, this is Browse's newest blade. And I'm pretty stoked to get it. Um, I hope I like it from what I've seen um, from other people. I know I saw a Terra Fanatics video and uh, he seems to be digging it so I'm actually stoked to uh, see what we got here. Got the Sound Soldier to open this puppy up. Figured that would be uh, only right to use a browse blade to open up a browse package. go somewhat open oh well we'll take it you guys can see everything in there got some bubble wrap here open that puppy up um, got this sweet little microfiber cloth that comes with it uh, pretty cool little uh, throw in I dig that always good to have one of these little fiber cloths around to wipe down your blades and shit um, got a few more stickers browse blades very sick another browse blade sticker very sick and uh, one more big dog. Awesome. Cool packaging as always. Got his uh, Browse Blades white box. And um, got his certificate of authenticity card. Uh, dated 4 4 13. Got him signed and dated. Very cool. And then on the back side, it's got the model name and the serial number, which is very cool, I think. Uh, which is 23 out of 500. I'm really digging that because uh, on his first run of Silent Soldier Clippers, you know, which was supposed to be a run of 500, I grabbed up one of the first few and uh, they weren't numbered. And you know, it's, it's not a, a big deal in the long run, but it is kind of a cool little uh, throw in to just have that numbered piece. And uh, I'm digging that, 23. So as you can see, pretty early runs. And then, uh, before I get to the knife, let's just look what else is in here. Comes with this cool little keychain. Pretty sweet. It's kind of rubber. He's getting, uh, he's got, he's got some cool little swag going on. Uh, got his business card. And then he's got some, uh, some collab stickers. Another Browse Blade sticker. And a, uh, Mikhail Williamson sticker. This is a collaboration knife with... Mikhail Williamson, I believe, I'm not sure if he designed it or who designed it, but uh, Jason Browse is, you know, manufacturing it, and here it is, let's take a look at this beauty, it's uh, got a good, good feel to it, it's got a nice size, man that blade just whips open, unbelievable. This is a sick, mean looking blade. Absolutely beautiful. Satin finish. Let's see there, I can barely see that. Uh, very cool, it's got the, uh, the number on it, 23 out of 500. Nice little touch, like I was saying before. Uh, all black G10 scales, contoured. A little bit funky contouring, and I'm not sure how well it's going to feel in the hand uh, when you're when you're actually getting down to business, but right off the bat, it actually feels pretty good. Like there's not many hot spots at all. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I thought it might be, but I don't really know. Love the pocket clip on this thing. Super deep carry. Um, it is tip up, which I love. This sound like clipper was was uh, tip down, and I just I still, to this day, uh, don't care this knife as much because of it, and it, it bugs a lot of people. So he did throw the uh, 
tip up carry, which is cool. And it looks like uh, you can also, if you can see right there, it looks like you can switch the clip to uh, either side, which is a nice little touch. Beautiful backspacer, if you can see that. It is a uh, black G10. It's uh, pronounced a little bit. And it's got kind of like that gear pattern. Uh, very nice touch for uh, reverse carry. It just really, really sits in your hand and palm nice. It's got some real, uh, real aggressive jumping on the top here. Um, you know, it's pretty aggressive, but it, it feels good. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not to the point where it's gonna, you know, kill your thumb like some knives are. It's got a beautiful blade. The grinds are amazing on it. Looks like it's got like a hollow grind right here. And then it kind of comes into a flat grind where the Tonto is. And it's got this swedge up top that uh, just makes it look just like a beast. I would not want to be in the way of whatever this thing is stabbing or cutting. I believe it's D2 steel. Uh, Jason Browse used D2 on most of his stuff, so that's what I'm, I'm almost positive it is. Feels like it's nice and sharp. I don't have anything to cut in front of me at the moment. Let's check out the centering. Uh, nice, perfectly centered. It's got his logo right there. Very cool. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Browse blades. It's got like etched in there. Very nice little touch. Um, I know on his prototype he had Mikkel Williamson's logo on the pocket clip which I thought was pretty cool and I'm not seeing that here and uh, I kind of wish it was on there because I like I like the fact that Mikkel Williamson had a you know a hand in in making this knife or you know part of the production or design the action on the knife is unbelievable I mean that's what people come for and uh, Browse definitely produced it's on a uh, bearing system not a not an IKBS system, but it's in a, uh, a molded bearing system, I believe, like the San Soldier Flipper. And uh, it is just smooth, man. Absolutely just smooth as butter. This thing just kind of closes on its own. Very nice. It's got this big elongated, uh, I don't even know what you would call this thing, but uh, you can flip the knife open with it, and it's uh, very nice, very comfortable, actually. God, this thing is so smooth. Unbelievable. So anyway, guys, this is just uh, getting a little bit too long. I do want to take a closer look at this knife in the future. But off the bat, I can not tell you I'm already uh, loving it. Just real quick before I take off, let's check out the, uh, the lockup. And it looks like it is uh, about 50%. And let's see. Terrafinax said his knife had a little bit of blade play. This has absolutely zero, zero blade play. So, titanium liners, black G10, uh, mirror polished, hand rub, satin finish, uh, blade, and hardware. So, sorry this got a little bit long. Hope you guys stuck around. Thanks for watching. Uh, please sub my channel, like my vids, and uh, check me out on Instagram. I'll be throwing up a lot of pics of this uh, reloader. So have a good night. Enjoy your knives, and I'll see you later.